What's up guys, Handish here, and today we are jumping into Destiny 2 with the weekly reset, some news and updates for the 3rd of March, and importantly, of course Season of the Worthy is going to launch next week, and so new stuff is coming. We do have the brand new trailer for Season of the Worthy today, and we'll briefly mention that, but we can also expect Bungie to follow up with more tidbits of info throughout the week. But separate to this, it is the final week of Season of Dawn as well, so we've got another reset in the game. And any content that you want to finish before the end of the season, or stuff that you want to collect, is going to be worth getting this week. So we'll break down all of that, and we'll talk some prep for Season 10, and then our rewards, activities, and vendors for this week in the game. So, guys, on our approach to Season of the Worthy, if you do enjoy the video, a rating down below really helps me out. But now, let's get into it. Now, before we talk about reset for today, of course, Bungie have revealed Season of the Worthy. So I did make a full video breakdown for that, if you want to check out the trailer and everything. They've given us details about the new Season Pass, some of the rewards that we can get, the armor pieces. In addition to this, a couple of new activities, so Seraph Bunkers, which are going to be legendary Lost Sectors, as well as a new Rasputin-themed public event that we'll find in a few locations. And by completing these activities, obviously we will get new weapons and armor. But the story element is that essentially we're powering Rasputin back up to defend us against the almighty ship, which the Cabal have set on a course for Earth, and in particular, the Last City. Obviously, in addition, they've revealed exotic weapons, like a new exotic auto rifle themed like a Tommy gun, but also the fourth horseman, which we know is returning. And then there is the new artifact and all of the trial stuff separate to that, so definitely a pretty exciting reveal. We're going to talk about prep and end of season stuff in just a moment, but if you want a more in-depth look at Season of the Worthy, I'll link the video down below. But now to get into end of season and reset stuff for this week. The first thing we should mention is the end of Season of Dawn. Of course, a number of different pursuits, items, and pieces of content are going to go away and no longer be obtainable, so that'll happen as of next week's reset on March 10th, and Bungie did share a full list of the content that's going away, so it's going to include the Sundial, Obelisks, their currencies, and rewards, and then of course you've got stuff like the Title and the Triumphs, the Artifact, the Artifact mod specifically, the Devil's Ruin quest, and more, so be sure to bear that stuff in mind if you don't want to miss out on any of this Season of Dawn content. Now, before we talk about reset stuff, let's mention some DLC preparation very briefly. One really good shout would be to pick up any obelisk mods that you haven't already got this season. There are a bunch of potent perks using the Charged with the Light mechanic, and that mechanic or the mods specifically aren't going away, but they're not going to be obtainable. And so it could be worth picking them up before the end of Season of Dawn, because it's even possible that Bungie will add more Charged with the Light mods in the future, and there could be some pretty nasty builds. When it comes to exotics, if you want chances at new exotics in Season 10, if you do get any exotic engrams dropped, it's probably worth holding on to them, especially since they appear to be universal now with the new knockout system. So as far as we know, you'll likely have chances to get new world pool exotics at the start of the next season. And that could possibly include the returning fourth horseman that we spotted in trailers, or of course new exotic armor. So worth thinking about, but also it might be worth holding on to some bounties to get some easy XP bumps at the start of the week. It could give you access to a few items from the Season Pass, and a bit of additional artifact power progress. Although as far as we know, it's probably not absolutely critical to hold on to bounties, of course. But otherwise, if Trials and meta content is a focus, then definitely be sure to pick up some of the strong weapons from this season. And of course, the Foundation or the Tower Obelisk can help with that as well in this last week. If you're missing any weapons from this season, you can also acquire them pretty easily right here. Now though, as we get into the reset stuff, the activities, and everything like that in the game, of course initially we have our pinnacle rewards, so we do have the dungeon, which drops pinnacle gear, but then for nightmare hunts this week we have rage, as well as fear, and we've also got despair, if you need to get any of those done. Once again, don't forget that your first run of the Sundial will yield Pinnacle Gear for your selected reward. And we also have the Garden of Salvation for Pinnacle Drops and additional drops via the challenge, which this week will be a link to the chain. If you're jumping into the Crucible this week, we do have Momentum Control as well as Lockdown. And then we've got all of the typical playlists featured right there across the middle, if you do fancy jumping in for a little bit of Trials warm up. For the Nightfall Ordeal, we'll be heading to the European Dead Zone for the Arms Dealer. That should be a pretty fun one this week. But then we've also got our traditional Nightfalls consisting of Strange Terrain, and from there you can get the Braytech Osprey Rocket Launcher. But we've also got Seventh and Sung, and this one has the Duty Bound Auto Rifle, and then Warden of Nothing for the Warden's Law Hand Cannon, and those are strike-specific drops that drop randomly when you take those bosses down. Also, Heroic Strike modifiers for today consist of Void Singe, Iron, and then we've got Heavyweight. Now though, for the Eververse store right here, of course all of the featured silver stuff that you will always see. We've got the Shake It Out emote though, for Bright Dust on the front page, as well as the Tip of the Spear, that's the Sparrow for this season, and the Itsy Bitsy Spider, 
ornament right there for the recluse. And then we've got the grayscale undergrowth. But for the main Bright Dust page, we have the Keep It Clean emote, if you want to take a better look at that one right there. The Tachyon 4 ship, which is the Omelon ship, I think I'm saying that name correctly. We've also got the Viper 4S Sparrow, and the Doubt Ornament for the Trust, which is a pretty cool one, as well as the Bloodline Memorial for the Bastion, the Chest Piece from the Armor Set, and then we've got the uh, Saint 14 projection right there, as well as the Vex Gate Arrival, the Box of Tricks, the Welded Brass, and the Byzantium Lotus Shader. To some of our legacy content this week though, we do have the Menagerie with Void Singe, Iron, and Heavyweight for Normal Mode, and then Heroic consists of Extinguish, Iron, Blackout, and Void Singe. If you're jumping into Reckoning though, we have Solar Singe and Grenadier for modifiers today, but then for Year 1 Prestige Raid modifiers, we've got Gladiator, as well as Arms Master with a Kinetic Shotgun, an Energy Auto Rifle, and a Power Rocket Launcher required for the weapon setup. For more of our legacy content and the Escalation Protocol, this week, the boss is going to be Norabath, the Crest of Zul. And so when you take the boss down, you randomly have chances to acquire the Ikelos Shotgun. And then when we shoot over to the Dreaming City, the Ascendant Challenge is going to be Ourobora. That's actually the first Ascendant Challenge that we got in the game, accessed via Aphelion's Rest in the Strand. If you do want some gameplay showing the location of that Ascendant Challenge and where you can find the Corrupted Eggs and Lore Collectibles, then I'll run that at the end of the video. But for today, guys, that is everything that we have to talk about. So I'll be keeping you posted on any of the new details we get about Season of the Worthy and the new DLC content next week. Definitely get subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications so that I can keep you up to date. It's going to be nice to have some new content to talk about. But for now, if you guys have enjoyed the video, a rating also very much helps me out down below. Let us know if you're jumping into the game this week or any of the content that you're most excited for next week with the start of the new season. Otherwise, though, thank you for tuning in, guys. And whatever you get up to, I hope you have an awesome day.